chapter 5, A Boatload of Fish. Luke 5 verses 1 to 3, KJV, And it came to pass that, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. The lake of Genesaret, also called the Sea of Galilee and the Sea of Tiberias. Matthew 4 verse 18 and John 6 verse 1. Luke 5 verses 4 to 5, KJV, Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draft. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. Let down his nets for a draft. A draft means a load. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. Jesus told Peter to cast the nets plural. Peter only tossed one net. Luke 5 verses 6 to 11, KJV. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken, and so was also James, and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all, and followed him. Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men, their families would be taken care of for a long time with the sale of this draft of fish. Now they could go and fish for men. The Law of the Leper Luke 5 verses 12 to 14, KJV, And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go, and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. Leviticus 14 verses 1 to 20. Go, and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded. Jesus was born under the law, and he kept the law perfectly. He told his disciples to keep the law. He came to redeem them that were under the law. Galatians 4 verse 4 KJV But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law. Luke 5 verse 15 KJV But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Jesus wanted the priests to see a former leper show up being obedient to the law of Moses who could convince the priests that Jesus also followed the law. We wouldn't tell someone today to offer for their cleansing, according as Moses commanded, because we are not under the law, we are under grace. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Thy sins are forgiven thee. Luke 5 verses 16 to 26, KJV, And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in, and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the house stop, and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. 
And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. God had promised Israel that if they were obedient to the covenant they made with him at Sinai, they would not experience all the infirmities that the heathen experienced. Deuteronomy 28, a publican named Levi. Luke 5 verses 27 to 32, KJV. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. A publican named Levi, Levi is also known as Matthew, the writer of the Gospel of Matthew. A publican was a tax collector for the Romans, and they were despised by the Jews. See a similar story in Luke 19 verses 1 to 10 about Zacchaeus. The Children of the Bride Chamber Luke 5 verses 33 to 35, KJV And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast, while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. The children of the bride chamber, they are Jesus' disciples who believed the gospel of the kingdom that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. They were those that followed Christ in his earthly ministry. They were also known by different names, such as the disciples and the little flock. Luke 12 verse 32. The bridegroom, this is Jesus Christ. When Christ, the bridegroom, was resurrected, it would be time for that little flock of disciples to fast. Again, this is not you and me. Luke 5 verse 36, KJV, And he spake also a parable unto them, No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old, if otherwise, then both the new mocketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeth not with the old. A new garment, these words appear only in 1 Kings 11 verses 28 to 34, and here in this story in the Gospels. Matthew 9 verse 16 and Mark 2 verse 21. This is about God rending the ten northern tribes from Solomon for his worshiping of other gods. 1 Kings 11 verses 1 to 13. The kingdom will be reunited after God's wrath comes in the last days. The kingdom will still be with Israel, but it will be with redeemed Israel. Ezekiel 37 verses 16 to 19 KJV Moreover, thou son of man, Take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions, then take another stick, and write upon it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not shew us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, chapter 5, a boatload of fish. Luke 5 verses 1 to 3, KJV, And it came to pass, that, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret, and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. 
And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. The lake of Genesaret, also called the Sea of Galilee, and the Sea of Tiberias. Matthew 4 verse 18 and John 6 verse 1. Luke 5 verses 4 to 5, KJV, Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draft. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing, nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. Let down his nets for a draft, a draft means a load. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net, Jesus told Peter to cast the nets plural, Peter only tossed one net. Luke 5 verses 6 to 11, KJV, And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net brake. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came, and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken, and so was also James, and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all, and followed him. Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men, their families would be taken care of for a long time with the sale of this draft of fish. Now they could go and fish for men. The Law of the Leper Luke 5 verses 12 to 14, KJV, And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go, and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. Leviticus 14 verses 1 to 20. Go, and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded, Jesus was born under the law, and he kept the law perfectly. He told his disciples to keep the law. He came to redeem them that were under the law. Galatians 4 verse 4 KJV But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law. Luke 5 verse 15 KJV but so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Jesus wanted the priests to see a former leper show up being obedient to the law of Moses who could convince the priests that Jesus also followed the law. We wouldn't tell someone today to offer for their cleansing, according as Moses commanded, because we are not under the law, we are under grace. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Thy sins are forgiven thee. Luke 5 verses 16 to 26 KJV And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in, and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the house stop, and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether is easier, to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, 
or to say, Rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. God had promised Israel that if they were obedient to the covenant they made with him at Sinai, they would not experience all the infirmities that the heathen experienced. Deuteronomy 28, a publican named Levi. Luke 5 verses 27 to 32, KJV. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. A publican named Levi, Levi is also known as Matthew, the writer of the Gospel of Matthew. A publican was a tax collector for the Romans, and they were despised by the Jews. See a similar story in Luke 19 verses 1 to 10 about Zacchaeus. The Children of the Bride Chamber Luke 5 verses 33 to 35, KJV, And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast, while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. The children of the bride chamber, they are Jesus' disciples who believed the gospel of the kingdom that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. They were those that followed Christ in his earthly ministry. They were also known by different names, such as the disciples and the little flock. Luke 12 verse 32. The bridegroom, this is Jesus Christ. When Christ the bridegroom was resurrected, it would be time for that little flock of disciples to fast. Again, this is not you and me. Luke 5 verse 36, KJV, And he spake also a parable unto them, No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old, if otherwise, then both the new mocketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeth not with the old. A new garment, these words appear only in 1 Kings 11 verses 28 to 34, and here in this story in the Gospels. Matthew 9 verse 16 and Mark 2 verse 21. This is about God rending the ten northern tribes from Solomon for his worshipping of other gods. 1 Kings 11 verses 1 to 13. The kingdom will be reunited after God's wrath comes in the last days. The kingdom will still be with Israel but it will be with redeemed Israel. Ezekiel 37 verses 16 to 19 KJV Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions, then take another stick, and write upon it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not shew us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. New Wine and New Bottles Luke 5 verses 37 to 38 KJV, and no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. New wine, new wine is first mentioned in scriptures when Israel came out of captivity as part of their offerings in the house of God. 
It was not mentioned before this time because it is associated prophetically with Israel's future release from captivity and her regathering in the land during the millennial kingdom. Nehemiah 10 verse 39 KJV For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn, of the new wine, and the oil, unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the porters, and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our God. It was taken away from Israel when she rebelled against God's covenant. Hosea 9 verses 1 to 3 KJV Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy, as other people, for thou hast gone a whoring from thy God, thou hast loved a reward upon every corn floor. The floor and the wine press shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. It was given to Israel when she was obedient to her covenant. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10 KJV Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. No man putteth new wine into old bottles. New wine was the Holy Spirit that is to be put into new bottles. Acts 2 verse 13 KJV Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. The old bottles were vessels that had contained the old covenant written on stone. It had been corrupted by the traditions of the elders. Ezekiel 36 verses 24 to 28 KJV For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols, will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. New wine must be put into new bottles, the new covenant needed to be put in new vessels because it would be written on their hearts. It could not exist in the old bottles as the parable teaches because it would burst the bottles of the Old Testament. It will be given during the kingdom when the new covenant is written on Israel's heart. Joel 3 verse 18 And it shall come to pass in that day, that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Luke 5 verse 39, KJV No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he saith, The old is better. The old is better. The people were fasting from both groups, and the newest group was not fasting. Like wine, they assumed the older was better, and what we have always done was the right thing to do. It was if you were not a part of the bride chamber. Believing Israel were those who were the children of the bride chamber. Chapter 6 Lord of the Sabbath Luke 6 verse 1, KJV, And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first, that he went through the cornfields, and his disciples plucked the ears of corn, and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. The second Sabbath after the first, the first Sabbath is probably a reference to Jesus' teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum in 431. Some believe this to be the 14th day of the first month of the year on a Jewish calendar. If it was, then Passover would be occurring in this story, and it was not. Luke 6 verses 2 to 4, KJV, And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do ye that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? And Jesus answering them said, Have ye not read so much as this, what David did, when himself was in hung red, and they which were with him, how he went into the house of God, and did take and eat the showbread, and gave also to them that were with him, which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priests alone? 1 Samuel 21 verses 1 to 6 Then came David to Nob to Ahimelech the priest, and Ahimelech was afraid at the meeting of David, and said unto him, Why art thou alone, and no man with thee? 
And David said unto Ahimelech the priest, The king hath commanded me a business, and hath said unto me, Let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee, and I have appointed my servants to such and such a place. Now therefore what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand, or what there is present. And the priest answered David, and said, There is no common bread under mine hand, but there is hallowed bread, if the young men have kept themselves at least from women. And David answered the priest, and said unto him, Of a truth women have been kept from us about these three days, since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy, and the bread is in a manner common, yea, though it were sanctified this day in the vessel. So the priest gave him hallowed bread, for there was no bread there but the showbread that was taken from before the Lord to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Luke 6 verse 5, KJV, And he said unto them, that the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. There were exceptions in the law of Moses, and Jesus was pointing them out to the protectors of the law to produce a questioning, not of the law, but of their strict restrictions placed on the everyday Israelite that God never intended. Stretch forth thy hand. Luke 6 verses 6 to 9, KJV, And it came to pass also on another Sabbath, that he entered into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing, is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good? The traditions of the elders had replaced the commandments of God concerning the Sabbath days. The Twelve Apostles Luke 6 verses 12 to 16, KJV, And it came to pass in those days, that he went out into a mountain to pray, and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. And of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, the title apostles meant sent ones. Twelve apostles were chosen to sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel in the kingdom. Matthew 19 verse 28 Matthew, this is Levi, the publican in the last chapter. Luke 6 verses 17 to 19, KJV, And he came down with them, and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him, and to be healed of their diseases, and they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. There went virtue out of him, virtue, or power, dunamis, came out of him to heal them all. He came to heal Israel of her infirmities, because they were to be a kingdom of priests, and they could not have any infirmities in their flesh according to the law of Moses. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6, and Leviticus 21 verses 16 to 24. Luke 6 verses 20 to 23, KJV, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for, behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Blessed be ye, believers will be blessed in the kingdom. Behold, your reward is great in heaven, the reward is stored in heaven, and it will be given out when Christ returns from heaven at the onset of the kingdom. Isaiah 40 verse 10 KJV 
Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Isaiah 62 verse 11 KJV Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh, behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Revelation 22 verse 12 KJV And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. The Woes Luke 6 verses 24 to 26 KJV But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Woe unto you, unbelievers will be cast into hell. Jesus told everyone to sell all that they had and to come follow him. He would provide for them, and for three and a half years none of those who followed him ever lacked anything. This is not a sermon for you and I today. If you sell all that you have you will be broke and in a homeless shelter. This was Jesus getting ready for his kingdom to be set up on earth, and him expecting those who were looking for that kingdom to come and follow him. All the money they had would just slow them down from following the Lord. The New Set of Instructions Luke 6 verses 27 to 38, KJV But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smitteth thee on the one cheek offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken togat. Chapter 6 Lord of the Sabbath Luke 6 verse 1, KJV And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first, that he went through the cornfields, and his disciples plucked the ears of corn, and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. The second Sabbath after the first, the first Sabbath is probably a reference to Jesus' teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum in 431. Some believe this to be the 14th day of the first month of the year on a Jewish calendar. If it was, then Passover would be occurring in this story, and it was not. Luke 6 verses 2-4 to KJV, And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do ye that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? And Jesus answering them said, Have ye not read so much as this, what David did, when himself was in hung red, and they which were with him, how he went into the house of God, and did take and eat the showbread, and gave also to them that were with him, which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priests alone? 1 Samuel 21 verses 1 to 6 Then came David to Nob to Ahimelech the priest, and Ahimelech was afraid at the meeting of David, and said unto him, Why art thou alone, and no man with thee? And David said unto Ahimelech the priest, The king hath commanded me a business, and hath said unto me, Let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee, and I have appointed my servants to such and such a place. Now therefore what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand, or what there is present. And the priest answered David, and said, There is no common bread under mine hand, but there is hallowed bread, if the young men have kept themselves at least from women. 
And David answered the priest, and said unto him, Of a truth women have been kept from us about these three days, since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy, and the bread is in a manner common, yea, though it were sanctified this day in the vessel. So the priest gave him hallowed bread, for there was no bread there but the showbread that was taken from before the Lord, to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Luke 6 verse 5, KJV, And he said unto them, That the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. There were exceptions in the law of Moses, and Jesus was pointing them out to the protectors of the law to produce a questioning, not of the law, but of their strict restrictions placed on the everyday Israelite that God never intended. Stretch forth thy hand. Luke 6 verses 6 to 9, KJV, And it came to pass also on another Sabbath, that he entered into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing, is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good? or to do evil, to save life, or to destroy it? Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good? The traditions of the elders had replaced the commandments of God concerning the Sabbath days. The Twelve Apostles Luke 6 verses 12 to 16, KJV, And it came to pass in those days, that he went out into a mountain to pray, and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. And of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, the title apostles meant sent ones. Twelve apostles were chosen to sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel in the kingdom. Matthew 19 verse 28 Matthew, this is Levi, the publican in the last chapter. Luke 6 verses 17 to 19, KJV, And he came down with them, and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him, and to be healed of their diseases, and they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. There went virtue out of him, virtue, or power, dunamis, came out of him to heal them all. He came to heal Israel of her infirmities, because they were to be a kingdom of priests, and they could not have any infirmities in their flesh according to the law of Moses. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6, and Leviticus 21 verses 16 to 24. Luke 6 verses 20 to 23, KJV, and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for, behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Blessed be ye, believers will be blessed in the kingdom. Behold, your reward is great in heaven, the reward is stored in heaven, and it will be given out when Christ returns from heaven at the onset of the kingdom. Isaiah 40 verse 10 KJV Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Isaiah 62 verse 11 KJV Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Revelation 22 verse 12 KJV And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. The Woes Luke 6 verses 24 to 26 
KJV, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Woe unto you, unbelievers will be cast into hell. Jesus told everyone to sell all that they had and to come follow him. He would provide for them, and for three and a half years none of those who followed him ever lacked anything. This is not a sermon for you and I today. If you sell all that you have you will be broke and in a homeless shelter. This was Jesus getting ready for his kingdom to be set up on earth, and him expecting those who were looking for that kingdom to come and follow him. All the money they had would just slow them down from following the Lord. The new set of instructions. Luke 6 verses 27 to 38, KJV. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smitteth thee on the one cheek offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged, condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned, forgive, and ye shall be forgiven, give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal it shall be measured to you again. The Sermon on the Kingdom was written to Israel as a message for the believer to put into practice during the time of Jacob's trouble, the tribulation period. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 KJV Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. They were in the 69th week of Daniel's prophecy when the Messiah would be cut off, killed. The 70th week was called the time of Jacob's trouble, which would precede the kingdom being set up. Luke 6 verses 39 to 45, KJV, And he spake a parable unto them, Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil, for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Two chapters of this sermon are not mentioned in Luke that are mentioned in Matthew, because they have a different focus. Matthew focused on the king and his kingdom, while Luke barely mentions the kingdom. The Coming Flood Luke 6 verse 46, KJV and why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? The faithful hearer. Luke 6 verses 47 to 48, KJV, Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my sayings, and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house, 
and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock, and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. When the flood arose, there was a flood in Genesis that only the faithful survived because they heard the word of God and were obedient to it. Genesis 6-10 There is a flood coming that will catch many in Israel by surprise, but those who know the word of God and do it will not be caught off guard. Laid the foundation on a rock, faith in Jesus Christ was the firm foundation that they needed because Jesus Christ is the rock. Isaiah 28 verse 16 KJV Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. Matthew 18 verse 16 KJV But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Romans 9 verse 33 KJV As it is written, Behold, I lay in shown a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. 1 Peter 2 verse 6 KJV Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in shown a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. The Unfaithful Hearer Luke 6 verse 49 KJV but he that heareth, and doeth not, is like a man that without a foundation built an house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. The coming flood for Israel is the seventieth week of Daniel, which is also called the time of Jacob's trouble and the tribulation period. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 KJV Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Those who did not have the proper foundation laid would be swept away in it. Jesus even related the end time event to the flood in Noah's day. Matthew 24 verses 38 to 39 For as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The Bible says that two-thirds of Israel will perish in the last days, but a third will endure unto the end and go into their kingdom. Matthew 24 verse 13 KJV But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Jesus was giving his followers a foundation to prepare them for what to come. Jesus is the foundation that they need to endure unto the end of the tribulation period to be able to enter into their long-awaited kingdom.